Hey guys, it's Jay Coleman, aka D Rabbit, uh, bringing you a little tutorial that I'm doing tonight um, on Cinema 4D. Uh, basically, um, real quick, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Blonde who made me my uh, wallpaper there. Um, thanks a lot, buddy. I appreciate it. Um, but anyways, basically, I had a pretty good idea. Um, one thing that I've been getting into lately. Um, if you guys don't know my channel, I've been trying to mix it up a little bit. We do a little bit of commentary, uh, we do a little bit of um, tutorials, and we also do giveaways. Um, so, I figure we're going to start doing a little more tutorials, um, especially since I've been getting into the graphic stuff a little bit more than, than I used to. Um, I really enjoy it and I have fun doing it. Um, so, that, that's what we're going to do. In case you want to know what I just did, uh, if we're going to go to MoGraph and click on Text Object, okay, Text Object is what you're going to want to do. That's going to get us started. Um, but basically, what we're going to do here tonight, um, not only am I going to show you how to make 3D text, but we're going to make 3D text that we can use on a YouTube layout, okay? Now, if you want to see my work, you can go to my channel. Um, that's my latest work. I just put that up on my channel. And um, I really like that background. Um, that layout's one of my favorites that I've ever done. And of course, there's people out there who call themselves uh, graphics people or GFX people. I don't call myself a GFX person. Um, I'm sure there's a hundred better ways to do it than how I do it. Um, but what can I say? I enjoy doing it. And um, you know, there's some people that can't do what I do. So I'm here to show you what I know and what I can do. And hopefully you'll pick you'll pick something up. You'll learn something from this. Um, but anyways, we're gonna left click on right here. It says align. We're gonna left click and go to middle. Okay. Now, um, basically, okay. I made two um, text when I did that. Let me erase one of them. Okay. Anyways, um, basically, I had a pretty good idea. I thought since I'm gonna show you. Um, how to make a YouTube layout. I'm not going to be able to show you it all in one night, so this is going to be the first part. This is going to be how to make the 3D text for your um, YouTube layout. Now the layout's actually done in Photoshop CS4 is what I'll be using. Um, but to make the 3D text, you're going to have to use Cinema 4D, and that's what we're working with right here. Now one thing that I thought would be kind of cool, we're going to go ahead and turn the text. And all you got to do to turn the text is there's a little rotating it looks like a couple arrows with a dot in the center you're going to click on that and hold it and then just move the text where you like it okay now I thought what would be a good idea is to go ahead and um, if, if you guys like my background or like my YouTube layout what I figured I would do is a little mini giveaway now you guys know I've given away PVRs um, you can contact the old winners they'll be glad to tell you that I've given away PVRs, Roxios um, many different capture cards and what I figured I would do with this is not only are we going to run a series but we're going to do a little mini, mini giveaway on each one and on this one I figure we'll go ahead and the winner if you could just give me a good reason why you um, need a YouTube layout um, I'll be more than happy to make you one and uh, not only that we're going to be giving away a easy cap like I said this isn't a, this ain't a big giveaway like I normally do I'm not even I wasn't even announcing it until tonight I just had a couple laying around uh, from old giveaways so we'll give away an easy cap um, and a YouTube layout to the person who just gives me a good reason why they think they need one uh, I'll be more than glad to send you the easy cap and make you a YouTube layout okay but anyways all you got to do, um, we're not going to do the thing I normally do where we leave numbers. It's just This is just a little mini giveaway. It's not a big deal. Uh, just leave me a comment on why you think you need it or why you deserve it. And I'm just going to pick the one that I like the best, the best comment. Okay. So anyways, we have our text here. We're going to go ahead and go to depth. You see depth right here. You're going to click the arrow up. Excuse me for any lag um, that you may see. And we're going to bump that up. Um, I usually put it up on about 160. And you can do what you like. It doesn't really doesn't really matter if it's on 160 or 180. I just always use 160 or 165. There we go, 160. Okay. Once it's on 160, let me line this up a little bit better. Once it's on 160, you're going to go to caps. Come down here to fillet cap. 
okay and that's going to give the text a nice little look okay now once you've done that you can go ahead and do a couple things you can click back on object and um, we'll go to font okay I got a little bit of lag here just bear with me um, go to font let's see there's a you know just pick one that you like um, I happen to like one down here at the bottom let's see something that would be easy for you guys to read Mm, that might work. Click OK. Yeah, there we go. And we're just going to type in. Mm, just type in. Tutorial. Wait. Tutorial. back that up away from the screen just a little bit and all you got to do is click on the arrow that I'm clicking on now and hold and drag back okay now once we have the word here we're going to go up to where it says text object up here we're going to left click push control and left click and drag down and that's going to make a copy of what we just made right here now once we've done that you can see we can move one of them. Okay, so we have two objects here. Okay, so at that point we're going to go to depth once again and we're going to lower it. Okay, we're going to lower the depth. I'm going to do down to 100. I think it'd be good. click on your little circle arrow thingy here and we're going to get a top view of the text and then we're going to basically just line it up in the center like you see here I always raise it up just just a little bit to give it a little bit of um, definition okay okay now once we've done that let me go ahead and lower it just a bit okay we're going to go down here to file new material now a lot of people make their own color what I'm going to do is something a little different than um, what I've seen on YouTube so far um, we're going to go to pictures uh, YouTube pictures there we go and I have a really nice looking one let me see if I can find it Let's see, I got all kinds of stuff in my pictures. You never know what you're going to need. I have a hard time deleting my pictures, um, especially with what we do, uh, or what I do. This blue and black and white uh, little squiggly line thing, I really like this one. So we're going to drag, or click, drag, and drop onto our text. You're going to get a little box. It says this image is not um, in the document search path. Do you want to create a copy at the document location? You're going to click yes. Okay, and you're going to get this nice blue color. We're going to go up here and click. See where it says te text object 1? We're going to click on that color. It's going to open this little box up here. It's going to say UVW mapping. Click on that. Click on this. And that's going to give it a nice look. Okay. Um, it's pick another material here. It may make another one once you drag that on. It does for me anyway. So we're going to double click on that new material and we're just going to go with white. White would be just fine. Make sure you have it on color. Okay. Then we're going to go to luminescence. Okay. That's really going to brighten us up. Then we're going to go to reflection. Okay. With my screen recorder, it does definitely take a little bit longer, so just bear with me here. Okay, we're going to go about 45% on the brightness, about 45% on the luminescence, and then we're going to X that out. Now, once we've done that, we can click, 
drag and drop on our second, um, or basically our copy, the one that we shrank a little bit. Let's see here. There we go. Okay. So just to give you a little top view. Looks pretty nice. Okay. Alrighty. Now, let's see if it'll let me render. Sure. Okay. And basically, if you left-click on this little, um, whatever you call that thing right up here, it's going to give you a little preview of what you've done so far. Okay. Now, that's basically it. Now, what you're going to want to do is um, come up here and get the settings right. We're going to left-click on that. And we're going to go to General. Make sure that's on Full Render. Output. Now, I don't know if this is right, but it's always worked for me. We're going to go to 1200. Twelve hundred width and height. Okay, then we're going to go to save. I'm just going to save that wherever you like to save it. I'm going to save mine in my pictures. Whoops. We don't want to do that. Go to pictures. Tutorial. Label it whatever you like to label it. Save. We're going to go to, um, oh, leave that alone, go to um, TIFF layers, and we're going to go to PNG. Now, this is pretty important what we're about to do here. Um, let's see. Okay, we're going to click on anti, um, whatever that is, A-L-I-A-S-I-N-G, and click on geometry, and we want best. Multi-pass, we don't need that, go to save. Okay. You're going to want to click on alpha channel, okay. So go to save, alpha channel, options, excuse me. <laughs> Keep doing that, anti, um, A-L-I-A-S-I-N-G, whatever that says, I don't want to say it wrong, click on this, and go to best. Now we can go over here to effect ambient occlusion whoops what that's all about effect and global illumination okay that's it now we're ready to render okay you can line this up wherever you like it and then you will click on this little one in the middle and that's going to start the render okay we're not going to do that it take too much from the computer right now while I'm recording. Now remember guys, this is the first part. Okay, this is how you're going to make your 3D text. And if you're curious on what my um what my backgrounds look like, um I'll give you a little preview if you don't want to go to my channel. Let's go here to my folder. See if I can get it where you can see it. Mm-hmm. Yes, here we go. This is my YouTube layout that I'm using right now. If you don't want to go to my channel, you can check this out. Now remember guys, if you want to win um, yourself a YouTube layout, no problem. Just leave a comment saying why you deserve one or why you think you should have one. Um, and also an easy cap I'll be giving along with this YouTube layout. And... Um, that's it. Just leave a comment. Make make sure you're subscribed to me. Um, I'd appreciate a like on the video as well and a favorite if you don't mind. And uh, the winner would definitely get an easy cap and a YouTube layout. Okay, guys. Now this is part one and how to um, design your own YouTube layout. Um, and this is basically how to design the 3D text that you'll be needing. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. And um, take care.